हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल सो आई एम बैक विद द न्यू टॉपिक्स ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी विच आर रेलिवेंट फॉर अपकमिंग एग्जाम तो आज हम लोग कुछ ऐसे टेक्नोलॉजी के बारे में चर्चा करेंगे जो आने वाली परीक्षा के लिए बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण है और केवल प्रिलिम्स एग्जाम ही नहीं मेन्स एग्जाम के लिए भी सो आई एम गोइंग टू कवर अ सेशन ऑन एमर्जिंग एरियाज ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इन द फील्ड ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्ट सिस्टम और ट्रांसपोर्ट इन टर्म्स ऑफ रेल और इन टर्म्स ऑफ न्यू टाइप ऑफ रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट वी विल कवर इन देशन देर तो बहुत सारे नए डेवलपमेंट हो रहे हैं वर्ल्ड वाइड और काफ़ी सारी चीज़ें पिछले पाँच दस सालों में चर्चा में रहा है तो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस दैट इन टूडे सेशन देर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वन ऑफ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक विच इज मेकिंग हेडलाइंस इज दिस वन ड्राइवरलेस कार गूगल कंपनी राइट गूगल कंपनी हैज डेवलप्ड दिस टेक्नोलॉजी ऑफ ऑटोनोमस कार ऑटोनोमस व्हीकल वेन यू से ऑटोनोमस व्हीकल इज अ वेरी जेनरिक टर्म ऑटोनोमस व्हीकल नॉट ओनली इंक्लूड द कार इवन इट कुड बी रेलवे सिस्टम इवन इट कुड बी एनी अदर पब्लिक ट्रांसपोर्ट सिस्टम और एनी प्राइवेट ट्रांसपोर्ट सिस्टम विच डजेंट रिक्वायर एनी पर्सन और ड्राइवर टू ऑपरेट तो जब हम ऑटोनोमस की बात करते हैं स्वायत्त है ना तो वहाँ पर कोई जरूरी नहीं हो कि केवल कार ही हो यातायात के कोई भी साधन हो सकता है जहाँ पर वह मानव या मनुष्य या इंसान के द्वारा नहीं चलाया जा रहा है पूरा का पूरा सिस्टम है जो कि काम करता है सो गूगल कंपनी हैज़ डेवलप्ड दिस टेक्नोलॉजी एक और कंपनी का नाम आता है यू ऑल नो दैट टेस्ला सो वेन यू टेक अवर ड्राइवर इज कार तो वन नेम इज द गूगल कंपनी विच हैज वर्क टू डेवलप दिस वन एंड सेकेंड कम्स टेस्ला एलॉन मस्क कंपनी टेस्ला नाउ व्हाट इज अ ड्राइवर लेस कार व्हाट इज अ ऑटोनोमस कार देर ऑटोनोमस कार और ड्राइवर लेस कार हैज इनबिल्ट सेंसर इट हैज अ एडवांस्ड काइंड ऑफ सेंसर्स व्हिच कैन सेंस इन्वायरमेंट now with the advancement of machine learning deep learning ai artificial intelligence such kind of technology is getting more and more sophisticated so here not only sensors it has a software program driven ai system which can work like human jis tarah insaan sochta hai insaan apne environment mein respond karta hai वैसा ही इनबिल्ट जो एआई सिस्टम है ऐसे व्हीकल और कार का काम कर सकता है सो इट इज आल्सो बिल्ट ऑन दैट सेंसर्स गेट द डेटा ऑफ द रोड डायरेक्शन लाइट एवरीथिंग देयर एंड देन दैट इज गेट प्रोसेस्ड बाय एडवांस सॉफ्टवेयर व्हिच कैन वर्क ऑन डीप लर्निंग मशीन लर्निंग दैट इज ए राइट इट ऑल्सो हैज अ इन टर्म्स ऑफ नेविगेशन देयर इन टर्म्स ऑफ डायरेक्शन एंड यू नो दिस कैन ऑफ नेविगेशन can work with the gps system it has a advanced camera camera can take the input there and all the data which comes from every part of the vehicle they get all analyzed in real time very very fast and then this vehicle move on the road to kafi sare isme development ho raha hai aur aane wale samay mein ye ek vastavikta hogi that will be a reality and man can be using such kind of a car so one is this one so let us go into more aspect on this that is a this one autonomous versus automated versus self driving three words are there autonomous automated self driving vartaman samay mein self driving hota hai hum khud se car ko chalate hain vehicle ko drive karte hain ठीक है अब यहां दो वर्ड्स आ रहे हैं ऑटोनोमस ऑटोमेटेड सुनने में एक जैसा लगता है इट लुक्स लाइक लाइक बट देर इज अ डिफरेंस देयर लेट सी दैट सी वेन यू से टर्म ऑटोमेटेड इंस्टेड ऑफ ऑटोनोमस राइट द वर्ड ऑटोनोमी हैज इंप्लीकेशन बियॉन्ड द इलेक्ट्रो मैकेनिकल कार क्या है मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग है इट वर्क विद इलेक्ट्रिकल 
इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स मैकेनिक्स तो जब हम ऑटोमेटेड वर्ड का यूज करते हैं तो केवल मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग इलेक्ट्रिकल एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स ही नहीं है उसके बियॉन्ड है इट गोज बियॉन्ड दैट इट रिक्वायर्स वेरी एडवांस्ड कंप्यूटर प्रोग्रामिंग आई एम मैंशन दैट इट हैज टू वर्क ऑन इट्स ओन विदाउट ह्यूमन इंटरवेंशन that requires a high level of computation so here if you look at automated when you say a fully autonomous like autonomy when you say was autonomy so i thought so here fully autonomous car would be self aware let me highlight this fully autonomous car would be self aware that means it can sense understand its aware इन्वायरमेंट दैट वो सेल्फ अवेयर दूसरी बहुत महत्वपूर्ण बात है कैपेबल ऑफ मेकिंग ओन चॉइसिस ऑफ मेकिंग ओन चॉइसिस जैसे कि इंसान जब गाड़ी चलाता है तो अपने आस पास के वातावरण को महसूस करता है और उसके अनुसार जो है निर्णय लेता है सेम वे दैट कार कैन वर्क एन ऑटोनोमस कार कैन वर्क बींग सेल्फ अवेयर ऑफ द इन्वायरमेंट and take a decision on its own just like a human being right now further if you see here like for example when you say here drive me to the work car will understand you are asking the car to drive itself and take you to the office your workplace so that is called as a in terms of ai artificial intelligence so an aut fully automated car वुड फॉलो ऑर्डर एंड देन ड्राइव इट सेल्फ कहने का मतलब है जो पूरी तरह से ऑटोमेटेड कार होंगी वो इंसानी ऑर्डर को है ना सुन के समझ सकता है और उसको इम्प्लीमेंट कर सकते हैं क्रियान्वित कर सकते हैं दैट इज वॉट इज द दिस कैंड ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी कैन डू वंडर्स राइट नाउ अनदर थिंग सेल्फ ड्राइविंग दैट इज ऑफन इंटरचेंजली विथ ऑटोनोमस एक सेल्फ ड्राइविंग होता है जहां हम इंसान के संदर्भ में बोलते हैं कि हम ड्राइव कर रहे हैं वी आर ड्राइविंग दैट और एक होता है सेल्फ ड्राइविंग कार दैट मीन कार इट सेल्फ कैन ड्राइव टू द डेस्टिनेशन दैट मीन वी आर द कार गो टू पार्क कार विल गो टू द पार्क राइट सो दैट इज गो सेल्फ ड्राइविंग नाउ वट इज सेल्फ ड्राइविंग कार सेल्फ ड्राइविंग कार इज इंटरचेंजेबली यूज विद ऑटोनोमस बट थोड़ा सा डिफरेंट इसका मीनिंग है सिंपल डिफरेंट मीनिंग इज दैट अ सेल्फ ड्राइविंग कार कैन ड्राइव इट सेल्फ इन सम और इवन ऑल सिचुएशन सम और इवन ऑल सिचुएशन सम सिचुएशन कैन ड्राइव और मे बी इन ऑल सिचुएशन इट इट सेल्फ कैन ड्राइव सेल्फ ड्राइविंग कार राइट बट अ ह्यूमन पैसेंजर मस्ट ऑलवेज बी प्रेजेंट एंड रेडी टू टेक कंट्रोल that means in self driving car it can in some situation or all situation can drive itself but it requires a human presence inside the car who is guiding the car to go to a particular destination kehne ka matlab hai self driving car mein insaan ka andar rehna zaruri hai ho sakta hai ki wo insaan car ko drive nahi kar raha hai लेकिन वह इंसान उस कार को गाइड कर रहा है जाने में कि उसके मूवमेंट या ट्रांस की अपने डेस्टिनेशन जाने में यह है सेल्फ ड्राइविंग कार लेकिन जब हम कहते हैं ऑटोनोमस कार ऑटोमेटेड व्हीकल तो ऑटोनोमस कार का मतलब है अगर वहां इंसान नहीं भी होगा उसके अंदर कार विल ड्राइव दैट द डिफरेंस राइट so this is what i have given here so a self driving cars would fall under level 3 that is a conditional driving automation right or level 4 high driving automation subject to geo fencing and like a autonomous level 5 car level isme level diya gaya level 3 level 4 level 5 sabse higher level mein autonomous car hota hai jahan insaan na bhi ho tab bhi wo chal sakta hai theek hai to ye ek development hai now would now further if you look at uh, let me just further go into this let's understand here 
हाउ द ऑटोनोमस कार वर्क किस तरह काम करता है तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थिंग इज दैट ऑटोनोमस कार रिलाई ऑन सेंसर आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू दैट एक्चुएटर विच विल मूव द इट्स ब्रेक स्टीयरिंग डायरेक्शन ऑल दो मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग एस्पेक्ट ऑफ दैट देन मैथमेटिक्स कॉम्प्लेक्स एल्गोरिदम सॉफ्टवेयर देन कम्स मशीन लर्निंग सिस्टम विद द डीप लर्निंग ए आई सिस्टम देन अगेन पावरफुल प्रोसेसर्स टू एग्जीक्यूट सॉफ्टवेयर दैट इज कॉल्ड एज अ ऑटोनोमस कार और व्हीकल राइट देन यू कैन सी हियर ऑटोनोमस कार क्रिएट एंड मेंटेन अ मैप ऑफ द सराउंडिंग सो दैट मीन इट यूजेज जी आई एस एंड जी पी एस सिस्टम इन बिल्ट ऑन दैट सो वेराइटी ऑफ सेंसर्स आर देयर देन यू कैन सी रडार सेंसर्स मॉनिटर द पोजिशन ऑफ नियर बाई व्हीकल विच विल फाइंड आउट विच व्हीकल्स आर मूविंग अबाउट वीडियो कैमराज डिटेक्ट ट्रैफिक लाइट री रोड साइन ट्रैक अदर व्हीकल लुक फॉर पेडिस्ट्रेन the camera will see the red light and green light of what traffic light is there see the pedestrian and all this and the sensors so you require high speed processors to work on the data lidar or lidar light imaging detection and ranging which is light based laser based technique that is also used in autonomous car so you can see here lidar light detection and ranging sensors bounce pulses of light of the car surrounding to measure distance Detect road edges, identify lane marking. That means the lidar system. Just the lidar, the radio waves are sent. Lidar system send the pulse of light, laser beam, which will bounce from the road and the surrounding area of edges, and will be able to measure the distance. How far the car is, it will be able to measure distance there, and the surrounding part of it. So that again another advanced technique used in autonomous car. then you can see here ultrasonic sensor just like bat and dolphin in water they send ultrasonic sound equal location with reflection of sound able to find out the speed distance direction so again ultrasonic sensor in the wheel in the wheels detect curves and other wheel when parking curves and everything and then can when parking there there the ultrasonic sensors could work on that right then coming to here sophisticated software advanced programming then process all sensory input plot the path send the instruction right it to the car's actuator control acceleration braking steering yahi hai car mein brake steer uske speed accelerator usko control karna to ye sab jo jo bhi sensor ka data hota hai wo analyze ho ke processor ke dwara aur advanced software algorithm ke dwara ये वर्क करके फिर वो चलता है दट इज वायर द थिंग कम्स देयर तो इट एज अ रूल एंड एवरी थिंग इट एज अट वर्क ऑन प्रिडिक्टिव मॉडलिंग ऑल्सो देयर राइट टू अवेयर ऑब्स्टिकल एंड ऑल दिस वन सो इट रिक्वायर्स वेरी हाई एंड इंजीनियरिंग टू डेवलप सच काइंड ऑफ अ कार सो टेस्ला कंपनी एंड गूगल कंपनी दे हैव बीन डेवलपिंग दैट इनिशियली इट केम सेल्फ ड्राइविंग कार नाउ इट इज कमिंग ऑटोनोमस कार राइट ऑल दो दिस टेक्नोलॉजी इज एडवांस but will take certain time to come into the market and more acceptability aaj ke time mein abhi nahi hai aur bahut mehangi technology hai to means exam point of view agar dekhna ho to aap yahan likh sakte ho ki very expensive it has limitation in the common use there again ek aur baat mein dhyan rakhna hoga law how the law evolve whether in the motor vehicle acts of the countries they will permit this kind of a car abhi recently fbi You all know FBI of USA. FBI of USA raised the question mark that such kind of car, autonomous car, can be security threat. It can be also terrorism. Obviously, ऐसे कार है ये terrorism के लिए उपयोग हो सकता है. आप कल्पना कीजिए. You imagine कि यहाँ पे autonomous car उसके अंदर bomb है. है ना? क्योंकि driver की जोत है नहीं. और उसको जो उसका जो उसको ऑपरेट कर रहा है वो उस कार को एक्सप्लोजिव के साथ किसी भी जगह ले जा सकता है और अटैक कर सकता है ऑब्वियस ये हो सकता है तो दैट मीन्स ऑल दो दिस टेक्नोलॉजी कैन बी अ बेनिफिट टू ह्यूमन बींग्स 
but it can also be misused by anti social anti national elements let's suppose suicidal attack aise car ka use ho sakta hai so that you can put across in the means answer writing part right so in terms of advanced technology or emerging technology in transport this is one of the very important topic for upsc exam abhi tak question aaya nahi hai and that could be a question in the exam right let's go to the ne next topic here i will now go to the next uh, um, part of the technology here um, i have already discussed this one iske plus point hai aur iske minus point bhi hai है ना तो लेट मी जस्ट गो टू दिस वन तो यू आई थिंक यू अंडरस्टूड इट है ना दिस पार्ट जो मैंने भी समझाया ना लेट्स गो टू द नेक्स्ट वन हियर अदर इमेजिंग एरियाज इन टर्म्स ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी विच इज मेकिंग हेडलाइंस दैट इज अ यू ऑल आर अवेयर ऑफ अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टेक्नोलॉजी विच हैज बीन ऑल्सो टॉक्ड अबाउट फ्रॉम इंडियन कॉन्टेक्सट हाइपर लूप हाइपोलूप टेक्नोलॉजी सैन फ्रांसिस्को टू कैलिफोर्निया लॉस एंजलिस एंड दैट एरिया यू एस ए द फर्स्ट हाइपोलूप बींग डेवलप देयर अगेन मेनी प्लेयर्स हैव कम अप देयर वन ई अगेन टेस्ला एलन मॉस्क देन वर्जिन एटलांटिस दैट कंपनी रिचर्ड ब्रॉन्सन हैज ऑल्सो एंटर्ड देर अदर कंपनीज हैव ऑल्सो नाउ कमिंग एज अ स्टार्टअप टू ब्रिंग दिस कैंड टेक्नोलॉजी हाइपर लूप टेक्नोलॉजी जो है कैन गिव वेरी हाई स्पीड almost near to the speed of a of an aeroplane now what is hyperloop technology here hyperloop technology is basically is a like a tube tube which is a almost vacuum or semi vacuum which is raised on the structure on the ground raised on the ground structure right this type of a structure just like you have seen metro uh, kind of a bridge above the ground and uh, here very similar to bullet train very similar to bullet train the track will use superconducting magnets and uh, there will be a passenger pod where the passengers are seated there and that can move just like bullet train without wheel there will not be any wheel without that that will be what is called maglev magnetic levitation and can move with very 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 high speed within that tunnel so imagine that just like a bullet train you have this kind of a passenger system there a port there inside this one where the humans are seated there this where humans are seated on this kind of a kind of the, here the person is seated there that can move with high speed here there is just a bullet train maglev magnetic levitation and bullet train can go up to 500 km per hour japan china europe right here it can go up to the speed of 800 km per hour 1000 km per hour that is the speed of aeroplane so here it can move there and this vacuum here is a vacuum to minimize air friction that means there will be no air friction to minimize the air friction right and here you have a passenger pod this is the where the people will be seated inside this kind of a pod right and there is a tube right so this is how the hyperloop technology will be working it will have a magnetic brake very similar to bullet train and it will accelerate and move inside this kind of a tube which is a vacuumized tube without air and no friction there right so that is where making headlines 
so again the the part of uh, where the things are moving here that is where coming here so let's look at here loop today hyperloop tomorrow right so if you see here the design which is going here see hyperloop is an ultra high speed public transportation system in which passengers travel in autonomous electric ports at 600 plus miles per hour 600 plus more than 600 miles per hour not kilometer per hour miles per hour i have said 1000 kilometer per hour 1200 kilometer per hour and again autonomous there will not be any driver to drive that passenger port of the hyperloop again autonomous right so here you can see that is a trip like see here what is said here hyperloop trip from washington dc to new york would take less than 30 minutes less than half an hour a person can travel from washington dc to new york in the us and you can see here similarly trip from washington dc to baltimore would take less than 8 minutes less than 8 minutes you can you can see how fast transport system could be there and this is how you can see they are, they are designing this kind of airbus the company airbus they are designing the system and doing the testing and everything here right this all so nearly a decade in the making it was conceptized this concept was given in the year 2013 and now the concept is going into design phase and then into the operation phase even Elon Musk company in Tesla has been into the hyperloop there Airbus has gone into that Virgin Atlantis Richard Branson that also entered into hyperloop there so a few years back there was a proposal to have hyperloop public transport system from Pune to Mumbai Mumbai to Pune but then feasibility study or whatever may be that hyperloop one that company that has not been taken forward so this is what you have here so here in a tunnel that is I would say tube that is the boring company SpaceX see here the hyperloop port competition was an annual competition sponsored by SpaceX you know the Elon Musk uh, space company SpaceX and the boring company in 2015-19 and then they came out with this idea there that this idea was brought this is the team which won the competition to develop that idea of hyperloop there right so this is what uh, future will be all about right another very important public transport system now I am coming to developing in India about a high speed rail network in future our population Indian population traveling there today you know that we are using metro rail Delhi metro rail Chennai metro rail Bangalore Hyderabad we are using that and up up so you go for that which always comes in the news bullet train in India Ahmedabad to Mumbai and, and that will be that is in advanced phase 2026 uh, that may run such kind of bullet train in India what is there in Japan China and all then comes into that so I'll first discuss some of the data about high speed rail network system worldwide let us look into such and certain data which all countries are there and what are the ranking there then I'll come to Indian projects of uh, bullet train and high speed rail network system to develop in India so let's look into this so this may be a chaser key other fact file they got a key high speed rail network a worldwide conference as a country's out in K one of the system a this may ignore mother Japan car first high speed rail system started operation in Japan in 1964 imagine 1964 India is going to have from bullet train from Ahmedabad to Mumbai that is going to 2026 and beyond kidney salute Japan is 64 me kia those are job is the come a little bit of the start salt as a okay more than 60 years ke baad India may is track a high speed rail network your public transport system are here to that shows that if you look at global standard global things we are quite far behind I'm both pitch is normally me I know so you can see here that one the sink as in sun you have to name a sink on sun sink and sun joy about Japan guy he has a bullet train we got 
Japan has a network of nine high-speed rail uh, lines serving 22 of 22 of its uh, major cities. है ना उसमें इसमें काफी इसमें development है इस तरह के Japan का है Shinkansen बोलते हैं and same Japan is helping India build India's bullet train project, right? So you can see here this one और यहाँ पर जो है इसकी जो speed जो है it can go up to you know 500 km per hour but in Japan which is speed maintained kya jata hai woh hai 320 km per hour and what is very important for like 20,000 passengers right every weekday that they typical weekday they use this Shinkansen or the bullet train in Japan then you can see here Europe second comes to Europe European country so we take Europe here it has a high speed network in 1981 second ranking the year 1981 200 km per hour speed say start kya gaya tha Paris and Lyon ke beech mein Paris and Lyon right that 200 km per hour speed 1981 it was started today the France the French high speed rail network comprise more than 2800 km of this kind of lines and the speed is from 320 km per hour to 200 miles per hour right so here is the intercity Germany the next country Germany began intercity express high speed rail system in 1991 to connect German cities then if you look at Eurostar Eurostar service right connecting Paris to London then from France one can go to UK Eurostar Paris to London that high speed via channel tunnel you know that UK and France that is separated by English channel imagine that such high level technology English channel को cross करते हुए under the sea and ocean उसके ऊपर बनाया गया that connect from Paris to London Eurostar that was another thing here कि यहाँ पर London to via channel tunnel 1994 में इसको operate किया गया then British Isle to Central Europe में क्या गया वहाँ पर फिर हाई वोल्टेज सिग्नलिंग वहाँ पर यूरोपियन कंट्रीज काफी सारे टूरिन इटली में है ना वहाँ से क्या यूरोपियन यूनियन में ये पूरा नेटवर्क है इमिलो का एक पूरा नेटवर्क है बट यू सी द इंटर नेटवर्क इन यूरोप अबाउट द बुलेट ट्रेन और हाई स्पीड रेल नेटवर्क सी व्हेन द यूपीएसी then coming to here, if you look at here, rail, rail team, 2007, there is a consortium of European railway operators, rail team. They coordinate, permit the entire high speed rail network. Then our trans-European uh, high speed railway has also been there. Third country is the China. Although European Union is as a group is there, but now we take the country wise China. China also has a high speed rail. So if you look at China here, the Chinese government high speed rail network that for the la more than 15 years they are using it it was started in early 1990s same as the model of Shinkansen of Japan China started and since 2008 it is running at the speed of 250 km per hour to 350 km per hour Chinese bullet trains right and traveling to Beijing to Tianjin 117 km or 73 miles China's other highest speed rated for 38,000 km by 2025. By the 2025, China one is building to connect 35,000 kilometers by high speed rail network. That's what the data is all about. And 45,000 km that will be next uh, term there. So again, on the same line like Japan, Germany, France, and other countries, China is also going to the production vendors. And you can see this is the Chinese part. इसमें प्रपोज प्रोजेक्ट भी है चाइना का इसमें कई एक्सीडेंट भी हुए ऐसा नहीं है देर हैव बीन एक्सीडेंट्स आल्सो देयर कंट्रोलिंग सच हाई स्पीड एंड इवन एनीथिंग गोस रॉन्ग इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी वेरी डेंजरस एंड दैट इज आल्सो केम इन द न्यूज़ 10 15 इयर्स बैक बट दैट दे आर ट्राइंग टू डेवलप दैट ठीक है ये चीज है देन कम्स योर दिस वन चाइना इज स्पेंडिंग लॉट ऑफ मनी टू बिल्ड दोस काइंड ऑफ नेटवर्क हाई स्पीड रेल नेटवर्क देयर राइट तो कैरीज ट्वाइस द नंबर ऑफ पैसेंजर देन डोमेस्टिक एयरलाइन चाइना का डोमेस्टिक एयरलाइन देखा जाए 
और चाइना का जो हाई स्पीड रेल नेटवर्क तो हाई स्पीड रेल नेटवर्क कैरीज डबल द नंबर ऑफ पैसेंजर्स एज कम्पेयर टू एयरलाइन दिस वॉट द डाटा इज सेट अबाउट नाउ कम्स यूर यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स यूएसए फोर्थ वन इज यूएसए बट यूएसए इज नॉट हैविंग दैट बिग नेटवर्क ऑफ बुलेट ट्रेन एंड हाई स्पीड रेलवे नेटवर्क एज वॉट द अदर थ्री हैव गॉट बट यू एस एज ट्राइंग टू कैचिंग अप सो हियर द नेम इज हाई स्पीड रेल देयर लाइन नन एज इन बिल्ट एक्सेप्ट इन कैलिफोर्निया कैलिफोर्निया में है एसेला एक्सप्रेस बोलते हैं वॉट इज द नेम ऑफ दिस वन इन यू एस ए एसेला ए सी ई एल ए एक्सप्रेस बिटवीन न्यूयॉर्क टू वॉशिंगटन डी सी एंड दैट स्पीड इज ऑल्सो नॉट वेरी हाई वन फिफ्टी माइल्स पर आवर दैट गोज दे बट एवरेज स्पीड इज ओनली सिक्सटी सिक्स माइल्स पर आवर then again california is in the process of building uh, you know that high speed rail hyperloop system california is building there so their plan is that to, uh, they will connect a hyperloop system with uh, from los angeles to san francisco and that by that will be completed by 2029 and that will pass to nevada will nevada desert the hyperloop system usko bhi develop kiya ja raha hai us mein that is what is a bullet train kind of. so that is what florida and all this one other plan is also there now high speed rail network by country wise if you look at see if you look at length of the lines in kilometer china is the 26869 right under construction 10730 right approved this much now spain japan france germany sweden uk then south korea italy turkey russia russia also has got finland uzbekistan austria taiwan china belgium poland netherlands Switzerland, Luxembourg, then you Norway, USA, Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia also has a proposal. It's not as but proposal. Saudi Arabia also want to build hyperloop uh, technology there. Then uh, you can see Denmark, Thailand. These are proposal. Hai. Russia, Iran, India. India again the proposal. Why it is zero here? Zero means still approved and is under the process. That is what has been done. Then you can find here Malaysia, Singapore, Israel. Portugal, Czech Republic, Greece, Hungary, Romania. So many countries uh, either they are using it or they are constructing it under approval. There, this is what is a part of it. The long term prospect is there, right? That uh, slowly, slowly, worldwide, the movement it will become one of the another uh, kind of a mode of a fast movement of people around the world. Now within the country, there may be future inter country could be there. Already Europe has is doing that. correct so that is what the technology is all about you will find here so if you see here this is what their comparison there normal auto the near brain hyperloop right india is also having a big uh, plan to have high speed rail network and in this context uh, if indian railway indian railway has a entity we have set up an entity a separate company government company to develop high speed rail network in india and the very first project that is a bullet train from ahmedabad to mumbai what you can see here this is how the stations being built right is already in advanced phase and probably 2026 the first bullet train could be there now you know that uh, india as a part of g20 also there we have in that so this all entire construction being done at a very rapid pace and this all being developed there so erection of span box and this similar to metro they has been and you know that railway minister right it got delayed because of the covid 19 situation pandemic the still the work is in the progress there so again initially the the travel will be not very cheaper but in future as like today metro every society class people are able to travel in future as it will become more and more after 10 years 15 years it will become affordable but now this is where we are now working anand nadia district they are also being developed there so you can see here this all the entire uh, this home page is there so now this is where and and we are taking the help of japan to build this kind of a technology there if you see here 2013 under companies act 12th or 2016 we started this kind of high speed rail corridor and we are now building that so here if you look at this map 
फ्रॉम साबरमती अहमदाबाद नांदेड़ नादियाद आनंद वडोदरा भरूच सूरत बिलीमोरा वापी बॉयसर देन इट विल कम टू विराट थाने बांड्रा कुल्ला कॉम्प्लेक्स दिस वॉट द इंटायर बुलेट ट्रेन लाइन इज देर वॉट इज सी इन द मैप हियर साबरमती टू इट विल गो अप टू बांड्रा कुल्ला कॉम्प्लेक्स एंड द स्पीड विल बी थ्री ट्वेंटी किलोमीटर पर आवर द बुलेट ट्रेन इन इंडिया इट दिस वॉट प्रपोजल इज ऑल सो फाइव हंड्रेड एट किलोमीटर डिस्टेंस राइट विच विल बी कवर्ड विद स्पीड ऑफ थ्री ट्वेंटी किलोमीटर पर आवर इन अ टाइम फ्रेम ऑफ टू आवर्स सेवन मिनट दो घंटे सात मिनट में जो है पाँच सौ आठ किलोमीटर की दूरी तीन सौ बीस किलोमीटर प्रति घंटे की रफ्तार से बुलेट ट्रेन पूरा करेगा इमेजिन दैट 500 हंड्रेड किलोमीटर डिस्टेंस दो घंटे में आफ्टर कंप्लीट कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ दिस बुलेट ट्रेन प्रोजेक्ट देर इज देर विल बी एक्सपेंशन ऑफ बुलेट ट्रेन इन रेस्ट पार्ट ऑफ द कंट्री ये प्रोजेक्ट को बनने के बाद दो हजार छब्बीस के बाद आफ्टर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी सिक्स वेन दिस बुलेट ट्रेन प्रोजेक्ट विल बी ऑपरेटेड देन द अदर सिटीज other states of india there also this same public sector entity high speed rail network of india will have projects punjab ka hai amritsar to delhi ka varanasi to patna ka wahan par project hai andhra pradesh mein project hoga same way as you know 30 years back metro project agar metro project ki baat kare to kolkata british time that time metro was there only city but then delhi metro was constructed aaj delhi mein pura metro ka jal ban chuka hai other cities in the country have now metro running ye 30 years mein possible hua to ek bar pehli bar jo project banta hai it takes time to get the technology from outside having the manufacturing developing the skill based experience operating those kind of project and once we get that kind of a anubhav experience then we can expand and replicate same model elsewhere aaj wahi cheez metro ke sath hua hai ek din bhavishya mein bullet train ke sath hoga that will happen with the bullet train so this project becomes the foundation of a high speed rail network in india ki ye cheez yahan par hai theek abhi isi mein ek aur hai si bullet train kya hai non wheel wo wheel nahi hota hai just maglev magnetic levitation सुपर कंडक्टिंग मैगनेट विच गिव द थ्रस्ट एंड ऑन द अब दैट इट मूव विद हाई स्पीड पार्ट ऑफ इट लेकिन जैसे मेट्रो है मेट्रो इज व्हील्ड वन इट मूव वेरी वेरी फास्ट अभी एक और प्रोजेक्ट है मेरठ टू हजरत निजामुद्दीन मेरठ इन यूपी टू हजरत निजामुद्दीन दैट इज अ डेली एंड अब इंडिया का फर्स्ट रैपिड रेल ट्रांसिट सिस्टम बन रहा आर आर टी एस आर आर टी एस जो है रैपिड रेल ट्रांसपोर्ट सिस्टम मेरठ टू निजामुद्दीन जो है दैट इज अ लाइक अ मेट्रो ट्रेन वेल्ड वन बस अंतर यही है जस्ट लाइक मेट्रो इट गोज अब द पार्ट ऑफ है ना वो मूव करता है बस अंतर यही होगा कि द स्पीड ऑफ दिस रैपिड रेल ट्रांसपोर्ट सिस्टम ट्रेन विल बी फास्टर देन द नॉर्मल मेट्रो एंड फ्रॉम मेरठ टू निजामुद्दीन लेस देन वन आवर कैन बी कवर्ड ये पहला रैपिड रेल ट्रांसपोर्ट सिस्टम बन रहा है वो बुलेट ट्रेन नहीं है दैट इज नॉट बुलेट ट्रेन मेरे निजामुद्दीन आर आर टी एस इज नॉट अ बुलेट ट्रेन बुलेट ट्रेन इज अहमदाबाद टू मुंबई वेर दर इज नो विल कोई विल नहीं है जस्ट फ्लोट ऑन द ट्रैक मैगलेव मैग्नेटिक लिबिटेशन तो ये दो अलग अलग प्रोजेक्ट दीज आर टू डिफरेंट प्रोजेक्ट आर देर दैट इज बींग डन देर just like you know now indian railway has a bande bande bharat we have shatabdi then rajdhani bande bharat tejas they are all train only but the speeds are different stoppages are less same way meerut nizamuddin rapid rail transport system is similar to metro project metro train with the wheeled one and will move very fast but when you are talking about this one high speed rail network we are talking about bullet train similar to japan china europe and other countries without will maglev 
magnetic levitation right so this is what you have here um as part of this uh, given here so i have already shown you the art gallery there now what i would like to bring here one more very important development in current aspect in the transport system has happened in germany germany becomes the first country in the world to have hydrogen powered passenger train which can run at the speed of 140 km per hour it is the hydrogen fuel cell fuel cell technology powered by hydrogen there and the name of the company which has built that train system hydrogen powered fuel cell technology based uh, coradia island coradia island the train has been built by a french company called elstom so that is a uh, another thing which has happened development there that is a uh, germany it is there in the news for a long time upsc has not asked any question on this coradia island right now what is coradia island that is germany is the world's first first hydrogen powered hydrogen powered passenger train based on fuel cell technology hydrogen powered fuel cell technology there and this uh, train has been built by developed uh, by french company all alstom this is the name of the company clean technology you know hydrogen when react with what oxygen hydrogen oxygen will produce water it will not have any emission there will be zero emission here emission free emission free clean technology transport system that means it doesn't require uh, any kind of a diesel or something to work and here the speed it can go to the speed of 140 km per hour 140 km per hour so it uses a, a cylinder of hydrogen gas and there is a fuel cell so air the outside air which contain oxygen that is taken into the fuel cell and through the pipe the cylinder hydrogen cylinders are there which provide hydrogen gas going to the battery and membrane technology cathode and anode with electrolyte solution so air there oxygen becomes ion and then hydrogen through the cylinder which goes to the that system that generate h plus ion they react to form water and generate electric current charge which charge up the lithium ion battery rechargeable battery lithium ion battery that get recharged and with that it provides the traction that is acceleration on the track right that is a working mechanism of the technology so you can see here this is the kuradi island this is the kuradi island what you can see here this is a train which is moving the blue girl moving there right and elstom that is the name of the company kuradi island is the name of the train hydrogen power train the world's first hydrogen power train right this is what you see here towards clean and future oriented mobility eno trans 2016 it was a eno trans 2016 in berlin that is germany that elstom presented the kuradia island for the first time launch of the carbon dioxide emission free no greenhouse gas generation free regional transit train that represent true alternative to diesel powered then the normal rail there and later in 2018 commercial contract was signed with germany and then low carbon transport system that was made this is the train you find what you see there right now this uh, train system now it is being already operational this is what you can see here is already operational there that is running at a full speed and maximum speed is 140 km per hour this train is uh, running there right 
so that's what uh, how the technology is advancing every aspect of uh, life right and what is said mechanism here hydrogen cylinder hydrogen which goes into the battery system there fuel cell technology converted to s plus ion air from outside that oxygen from atmosphere that ion ion and then they form the water and they generate the charge current electric current that charge of the lithium ion battery and that recharge the battery provide the traction so you can see here this is the working mechanism this is the where recharge happens and the, that it work so what is the one of the limitation here that after some time the hydrogen gas gets over so new cylinder of hydrogen gas has to be uh, again um, supplied to jab tak hydrogen gas usme cylinder mein hai tab tak ye kaam kare fir baad mein hydrogen gas ka wo change karna hota hai to uske liye refueling ki jati hai ab dekho they they do the refueling there with the hydrogen gas right so again they will start working there so it is one of the very important development in the field of transport system has happened worldwide and the same technology in the future will expand to other uh, countries of europe then to us then to india one day we can have in our country this kind of technology there right so this is what i have uh, explained here so um this may can be a question in the exam now what i'm coming here i will now come to another a uh, very important current aspect which has made headlines that is a uh, in terms of a uh, uh, ambulance taxi now what is this ambulance taxi medical emergency you know that medical emergency when it happens the ambulance which uh, takes the pay, person to the hospital and you know the kind of traffic ambulance has to face to clear the road to reach to the hospital and sometime not proper reaching to the hospital and icu there the person die so one of the big problem is the traffic congestion and that result into deaths of the people which require immediate kind of a, a treatment that happens worldwide india you know the kind of country what we live and the kind of a traffic system what we have and every day you see the ambulance which keep on you know siren putting the siren and getting the way finding out the way to reach hospitals and medical center so this kind of technology can be a boon ek tarah vardan ki tarah sabit hoga so now if you see here this uh, medical emergency right uh, it can be used to ferry or can say carry patients to hospitals by using uav unmanned aerial vehicle imagine that generally jab hum drone ki baat karte we only talk about small scale here there will bigger size drone unmanned aerial vehicle where a person can be put inside and this can fly just like a helicopter or you have seen the drone the drone which fly and can land to the hospital center where the person can be taken so that will like air service air taxi service and the person in the part of like a drone the drone as a fly the bigger drone can with the person can fly in the air and can reach to the hospital so here this is we'm using uav unmanned aerial vehicle an unmanned aerial vehicle or what we call as a drone so it is also called as a drone taxi you can say here is almost like a drone taxi or uav taxi there so one one aspect i am talking about medical emergency heart attack or any kind of emergency accident right taken to trauma center hospital sometimes you know natural disasters earthquake cyclone or maybe casualty because of bomb blast any such kind of attack or maybe because of the war conflict the army personnel or the injured kind of a uh, our military man have to be taken to the hospital so again this can be done imagine ladakh siachen border areas 
sometimes there is no roads hilly areas there is no road this kind of a drone taxi or ambulance taxi can easily ferry the people right so it is a another game changer from technology point of view so here this kind of a ambulance taxi can be used in difficult uh, terrain right such as uh, let's say hilly areas mountains or hilly areas himalayan range like said or let's say coastal areas island let's say kaverati andaman nicobar right even not only this one even it can be used in the part of plain area also there right where the roads are not there villages area and has to be taken there right so border areas and it can it can immediately it can immediately provide the service people can be taken there right so there are now new startup companies have come up to develop this kind of technology and bring to the market there right so this where uh, can be a question in the exam right i'll take you to the site here so if you look at here this one um ambulance drone all right see what is given here an ambulance drone is a type of unmanned aerial vehicle uav or drone that medical teams use to deliver essential supplies and care in emergency situation even such drone can be used to supply emergency medical relief or such kind of treatment thing those are kind of logistic supply can be done through this kind of a uav right now see here for example medical emergency like cardiac arrest heart attack cardiac arrest and severe aberration require immediate support despite this it can take several minutes for nearby medical teams to reach those in time but medical team can reach to the spot and can take care of the person right often time emergency medical teams arrive too late for reasons and then it creates create the casualties there so what are the benefits of ambulance taxi or drone that the transfer technology response time can be minimized that means uh, the time it takes to reach the medical team to help or take the patient to the hospital that time can be minimized response can be fast then again reach difficult places difficult terrain border areas hilly areas where roads are not there they can fly there expand operation it can reach it can provide medical emergency healthcare support to far reaching areas rural areas village areas where normally the facilities are not existing to provide medical care there the medical team can arrive and can look into the people there scale efficiency it can shift very fast can go anywhere drones can also help during large event like fairs and festivals where issues like heat stroke substance abuse may occur sometime you know heat stroke or sometime maybe fire and the people have to rescued and taken to the hospital so again the drone taxi can be used ambulance taxi support digital transformation affordable technology and all this one and this you can see here disaster response disaster management then it can be ambulance taxi can be used right battlefield safety i have said that let's our military man army siachen glacier or any thing and then there's conflict war or any attack and we have to give them the medical facility so we can use the ambulance uh, drone right so here so in the field today yes they are being used now passenger drone for covid 19 response in china in china it has been done for covid 19 response during the covid 19 pandemic so health already started there iris automation that is the name of the company they are doing that right now um, this is one part i'll now go to the another topic which is the which you have which made in headline noida right in ncr delhi and part going to have a pod taxi pod taxi there is a very small one and just like metro you know on the pillar it will have a very small one there will be a small kind of pod 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 and a person can sit inside and that can move very fast so here a pod taxi system here that has been now in the news 
this is what you can see the photograph even other countries have come out with this kind of plan so port tax you see here personal rapid transit what is called personal a single person can sit inside and can move fast reach there avoiding the congestion traffic uh, down can move up there pod taxi is also called pod pod taxi so personal rapid transit also known as pod cars or pod taxis is a public transport system developed for traveling swiftly fast in congested areas where traffic is huge they operate much like the traditional rail and street car network you have seen that cable cable kind of very similar to metro rail you have a track and it moves very very fast so similar to that and can be built over busy road where was very heavy traffic there above that this kind of a just like a metro it can be made and that port taxi can move fast on that so like a busy roads and highway they are automated driverless vehicle again see this is a, again one of the application of driverless car driverless vehicle autonomous vehicle self driven vehicle it comes into that part so here and can carry four to six people at a time imagine that inside four to six people can sit inside just like a metro there will be above the road this kind of a just like metro it will be built and uh, the four to six people can sit inside without any driver and the destination it can take to the destination automated so here this one what you can see here this is inside the car port taxi there so noida now port taxi is a futuristic transport concept futuristic transport concept which is environment friendly and can be used on by solar power also imagine this kind of a port taxi you have a solar panel which can charge up the battery and can run on the track so here even it can futuristic one solar power and other renewable power it helps in reducing pollution clean technology again faster technology again solar power port taxi cost 1/10 of ordinary running car 1/10 of the price it will be there to operate such kind of car average speed can be 60 km per hour but what is the advantage there will be no problem of traffic continuously it can move then again port taxi will remain around 5 to 10 meter above the ground let's say ground 5 to 10 meters above the ground that will be there it will run and port taxi is a network used are suitable for all weather condition it can be used in all weather summer winter rainy season any weather numerous personal rapid transit prt systems were proposed in india pehle india mein bahut sare aise proposal kiya gaya tha abhi noida mein ye built kiya ja raha hai but they didn't get implemented in india around 6 states 6 aise rajya hain jo ki is tarah ke port taxi service ko add karna cha rahi hai cha rahi hai they in some big cities to conduct congested traffic jahan pe bade shahar hai मुंबई दिल्ली बेंगलुरु हैदराबाद वहाँ पर ये पोर्ट टैक्सी सर्विस स्टार्ट करना चाह रहे हैं है ना वहाँ पर ये चीज़ है तो क्या क्या एडवांटेज है रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी में काम कर सकता है सोलर वगैरह में लो कॉस्ट ट्रांसपोर्टेशन हो सकता है लेस पोल्यूशन होगा और नो ट्रैफिक प्रॉब्लम वहाँ पर होगा तो बैकग्राउंड यही है पर्सनल रैपिड ट्रांसिट ये नवम्बर टू में इसको कुछ ऑपरेशन किया गया था अब ये है मॉर्गन टाउन मॉर्गन टाउन मॉर्गन टाउन personal rapid transit system is the oldest right and most extensive in morgan town west virginia usa kab ki baat hai november 2016 morgan town virginia west virginia usa mein sabse purana aisa port taxi prt personal rapid transit system ko start kiya gaya tha so that is been continuous operation right you can see here 13.2 km run then another one place for uh, park shuttle that is again in netherland after us netherland 1.8 km cyber cab mazdar city abu dhabi uae third country uae 1.5 km ultra prt hitro hitro airport england uk 3.8 km sky cube south korea 4.6 per km and the ultra prt tianfu airport chengdu china 5 km now the proposal in noida part of up and ncr delhi that is in the part of it to ye sara yahan par what you can see 
there is a data is there right this is all data comes into this so that could be another very important development in future so i think in upsc prelims exam right uh, can be a question on transport system of future emerging area even maybe in upsc mains exam a question can be asked right uh, that uh, discuss about rapid or discuss about future emerging transport system in the country 150 words you have to write the answer niti ayog ka ek is pe report bhi aayi thi ki bharat mein logon ko move karne ke liye time save karne ke liye affordable karne ke liye jo technology use hona chahiye public transport mein us pe ek paper bhi aaya hua tha report bhi aaya tha already there have been 4 5 years back niti ayog report इसमें एक और प्रपोजल था गुरुग्राम में गुड़गांव गुरुग्राम में मेट्रिनो मेट्रिनो एम ई टी आर आई एन ओ जैसे कि यू नो हिली एरियाज वेन यू गो यू हैव अ केबल राइट वेर यू वेन वेर फोर पीपल सिट इन दैट केबल कार एंड देन इट गोज फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर आजकल कुछ एक्सीडेंट्स भी हुए हैं आफ्टर कोविड नाइन्टीन रिपेयर नहीं था मेंटेनेंस नहीं था प्रॉब्लम भी हुआ है तो इमेजिन सच कैंड ऑफ केबल कार गुरुग्राम में ये प्रपोजल था मेट्रिनो का कि वन कैन सिट देयर इन दिस कैंड ऑफ मेट्रिनो फोर टू सिक्स पीपल एंड दैट थ्रू द केबल इट कैन गो टू फार अवे एरिया सिमिलर पोर्ट टैक्सी में क्या है पोर्ट टैक्सी यू हैव अ पिलर जस्ट लाइक मेट्रो यू नो यू हैव कैंड ऑफ सिस्टम बिल्ट ओवर द रोड यहाँ पर वही चीज़ है एंड इट कैन मूव इन दैट इज पोर्ट टैक्सी पी आर टी person rapid transit same as that you have a metrino through the cable it can go from one place to another wo gurugram mein uh, news mein tha so that what this question can be asked in any such context one can expect question there right this is what i have covered here and um, you have to prepare this the thing from the current affairs so if any question comes in the exam right uh, will be very direct question simple question simple concept simple facts and applications aasan question hoga seedha hoga fact honge usme applications honge aur aap aasani se solve kar sakte hain kuch jo main concept hai wo dhyan mein rakhna right so i hope you are able to understand all this and this can really help you if the question comes in the exam theek hai so i stop this uh, session and we'll meet uh, very soon in a new session with a new topic of science and technology whatever doubts you have whatever things are there you should always get back to us right we will be able to solve your doubt all right so thank you everyone take care we will meet soon thank you